Southern Acadiana is Ali Bear. It is 637. If you're just tuning in here this morning, the talk is Vermilion. Well, Al is at Vermilionville. Yep. Talking about our Acadian heritage and uh, a big event that he enjoys going to every year. And all kinds of different sub-events within that big event. Let's go to Al. He's talking Acadian Culture Day. Mr. Abair, if you would. Hey, guys. You know, <clears throat> this is pretty cool. We have filmmaker Bob Burrell here. Uh, who did a little documentary called Boucherie, the Edible Spectacle. Now, wow, that's, that's a very clever, we've all been to Boucherie. What, what made you decide to, to do a documentary about the Boucherie? Well, I wanted to do something on my Cajun heritage, mm -hmm. and I've always found the Boucherie kind of oddly magical. Yeah. So what do you find magical about it? Um, it's just getting together over food. Mm -hmm. um, somehow that just it has like a symbiosis of people and food and just it uh i don't know yeah you know it's, it's kind of true cajun when you think about it because we're constantly getting together over food and i can remember and i guess they still do that today politicians would have what they called suppers where you know uh they would gather in a place sometimes a vfw or maybe someone's house their supporters would come and they would have a supper and I mean, I've, I've heard that term not long ago, which I had not hold, heard in years. So yeah, I can see where the boucherie would, would fit that bill. Uh, so tell me about where did you find the boucheries to go to? I found one in Erath. Mm -hmm. um, it was, I had to schedule it around uh, when it was getting cold because that's when the boucheries happened. Yeah. Um, and luckily I got some video from uh, uh, UL the Center for Cultural Studies uh, from Bruce Degrapont mm -hmm. had a family video of Boucherie probably back in the 70s. Wow. And this has been going on for a long time. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's always been some kind of food sharing tradition, um, and Boucheries is just kind of clung on to Cajun culture. That's wonderful. And they're going to be showing it at Acadian Culture Days out here. Do you know about what time they're going to show it? No, it's going to be three times that day, and I'll be around to do a QA afterwards. Okay, that's interesting. I mean, um, I, I think this is such a cool thing. I think, you know, we have such a colorful heritage, and it's great that someone like you documents this kind of thing. Uh, you know, if you ever want to do something on meatball stew, one of my faves, uh, be sure to call because I don't think you find meatball stew north of St. Landry Parish. Really? Um, yeah, I've never seen it there. Boucherie, the edible spectacle. Can't wait to see this. Hey, you know what? We're going to go back to you guys in the studio. Because this show, it's a spectacle, but not edible. It is special, Al. Thank you for acknowledging that. And, uh, yes, meatball. Is it meatball stew? Meatball stew. I've never had Meatball it. stew. Oh. oh, that's great. Oh, they my God, it's stew, my fave. Except they shoved it all into a meatball. Well, we're going to add that to the list. Oh, gosh. Even Director Drake oh, said it's I'm going to get you some meatball stew. I need to try Count it. on it. Okay, team. We'll see you in a bit, Al. Thank you. Life-changing. <laughs> Okie doke.